Hey everyone, Veronica Belmont here at New York Comic Con at the Skybound booth speaking with the creator of The Walking Dead, Mr. Robert Kirkman, about The Walking Dead. Oh, we're doing that? We're doing that again. I know. I seem, it seems like we do a lot of that lately. Um, so you guys are going to an almost two a month schedule. What was the impetus for that? Uh, impatience? Uh, no, I mean, uh, we wanted to do something big for the 10th anniversary, and we've already done so much with The Walking Dead. I thought accelerating the schedule, especially for this all-out war storyline, because there is so much that's going to be happening, uh, and it's it's going to be a really sprawling story that takes place over 12 issues. I didn't want to have that drag out for an entire year, so we decided to ramp things up and get these books out a little sooner. Well, that's a lot going on for you, because, I mean, you have other projects in the works. You've got the TV show, of course, so h how do you manage to get it all done? We don't need to dwell on that. Uh, it's it's definitely a, a juggling act, but uh, I, I feel like you know I'm enjoying what I'm doing, so it's fine to put in a few extra hours here and there. Also, Charlie Adlard does most of the work. Let's not you know let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> now, how planned out was the story arc for All Out War? Did you have have it all planned out going in uh, for the 12 issues? Well, I mean, getting to the storyline has been something that I've been working towards for years. It was something that was actually planned in the pitching stage of the series. So, you know, it, it's always been something that we've been building to. And this storyline in particular, you know, having worked on the TV show and stuff, this is the first time I've ever actually, like, plotted out a story in, like, outline form before writing the comic. So, uh, you know, that is that is a new thing that I've done. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of, like, twists and turns in this, and it's all been worked out fairly meticulously. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm trying, like, a new process on this. We'll see how it goes. Nice. And how is season four of the show going so far? It's going really well. I mean, we're debuting very soon. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm really excited for people to get to see it. And uh, I feel like it's going to be the best season yet. And uh, I, I'm really excited that, uh, you know, I'm not going to have to keep all these secrets anymore because there's all kinds of awesome stuff that happens in almost every episode. And I keep doing these interviews and it's like, oh, I want to tell them about this one thing. And I want to tell them about this, but I can't. So pretty soon I'll be able to talk about all kinds of cool stuff. Robert, you can tell me whatever you want to talk about. I'm here to listen. I'm here to, you know, if you want to share something you haven't told anyone else, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Now, what can you tell us about the spinoff series? Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, I can tell you that it's, uh, you know, it's going to be new characters in a new location, and it's going to be very cool. And you know, everyone involved in the spinoff is working like very hard to make sure that it, you know, can stand shoulder to shoulder with the original show, and uh, you know, can stand alone and is worthy of its own existence, which is something that you know I, I think is kind of important. You know, uh, we don't want it to be just like an offshoot or something that's very dependent on the existence of the other show. We want it to be something that can stand on its own and that offers the same kind of like unique storytelling experience that The Walking Dead does. So we're, 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 we're going to make something good. I've actually seen a lot of, of fan projects that, that, that involve The Walking Dead. Have you seen any of these fan projects? And, and if so, what do you think of them? I've seen stuff here and there. I mean, it's all very cool. I mean, I love that, you know, people like The Walking Dead enough to, like, take a weekend and, like, shoot something fun or, you know, draw a pinup or, or make a new comic or anything like that. I mean, it's great to know that, you know, people are really invested in this world and they just love The Walking Dead. And I'm just you know, really flattered and I, I love all this stuff. And finally, you just celebrated the 10-year anniversary of The Walking Dead. Does it just blow your mind how big it's gotten? I mean, you've got, you've got an obstacle course in an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that's a little weird, but uh, I don't know. It's really cool. I mean, uh, I never thought it would get this big, I, uh, but, uh, you know, to be at our 10th anniversary mark and for it to be, you know, still going strong is, is kind of remarkable, and I feel really fortunate, and I just love what I'm doing, so hopefully I'll be trucking along at year 20, so we'll see. Nice. Well, we love what you're doing, too, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks a lot. It's great talking to you.